Hello everybody, I am Hemalida. Today I am going to discuss our paper, Virtual Labs Improve Students' Performance in a Classroom. So, uh, why Virtual Labs? ICT based education is a new trend in universities that provide online learning experience with the aid of computer based instructional materials like animation, simulation, and remote learning experiments. It helps to overcome the difficulties faced in traditional lab system like um, extended time to complete the experiments, lack of reagents, sharing of costly equipment, etc. Students following ICT enabled blended education have been known to be advantaged with some social and knowledge skills such as tendency to solve um, where the problems, time management, communication skill set, uh, group work where they can share information or ideas between uh, others which in turn boosted the quality of learning. In earlier days, conventional teaching was performed with lectures by teachers followed by a centered syllabus. Students depend upon text, uh, textbooks uh, to support their knowledge and exam was conducted for assessment criterion. Here, Virtual labs provide an autonomous learning with or without the help of a teacher. The students can improve their uh, ability to perform wet lab experiments by repeatedly practicing virtual labs and thus the common uh, mistakes made in the lab can also be avoided. Sakshat Amrita Virtual Labs is an MHRD initiated project and also a joint collaboration of several universities including IITs and Amrita University. This is a freely available online tool that can easily accessible via uh, amrita.blab.co.it. The major disciplines in Amrita Virtual Labs are Physical Sciences, Chemical Sciences and um, Biotechnology and Biomedical Engineering. Biotechnology and Biomedical Engineering has 23 labs with more than 200 experiments. These labs include animation, simulation and remote learning experiments. Hello all, uh, I am Raki Radhamani. Till now you heard about what a virtual lab is. Next I am going to discuss the role of Amrita Virtual Laboratories in enhancing education. The experiments are virtualized after referring the syllabus of different universities approved by UGC and AICT. The experimental protocol is first standardized by trial and error methods using different textbook references and journal articles. The next step is the software development which includes a storyboard sketch followed by animation, emulation that means an interactive animation and simulation techniques. This virtualization steps helps to make the virtual laboratory with a close proximity to a laboratory traditional laboratory scenario. These classroom based implementations as virtual laboratories were used as interactive test books and as tools for actual learning. The implementation of animation and simulation based virtual labs was mainly done in ActionScript 3 in Adobe Flash in order to bring better definition to 2D graphics. It gives uh, both a better look and feel with an enhanced interactivity with the software. In our virtual labs, we used a BL cap that means virtual labs collaboration and accessibility platform in its full functionality for using the virtual labs. For each experiment, we added a theory section which explains the science behind the experiment, procedure which gives details of step-by-step -step protocol performed in a real lab, a self-evaluation icon that helps the users to access the knowledge on an experiment, the assignment uh, which has a set of questions that where the user could answer as a part of laboratory examination. All the additional information and reading materials for the experiment were linked in the reference session. Apart from this, a recorded video of each experiment is also uploaded as an additional reference material. Feedback icon allows the users to post their comments and receive feedback on usage. It is a critical element that helps us to improve the quality of virtual lab exercises. Animation, simulation and remote reader experiments are accessible to users through free registration using Google's Gmail ID or an open ID. In remote labs, the user can effectively use the lab equipment and conduct experiments without being on site. Moving on to methods, our study mainly focused on analyzing the adaptability of web based tool among us, the users of different age groups and the use of virtual labs in enhancing the performance of students in the classroom education. Our method includes a series of hands on workshops for teachers and students all over India. Workshops provide a comprehensive overview of the role of virtual labs in supporting their education system. In this study, we included undergraduate and postgraduate students for analyzing whether the virtual labs can bring a significant change in the learning process. The demonstration and hands-on section were followed with a set of questionnaires to evaluate the students' adaptability in using virtual labs in their learning curriculum. For example, in the feedback provided, 
we ask the main question how you rate the online performance of the experiment uh, that covers a, a usage related question also similar questions are categorized in the feedback for analyzing the overall usage of virtual labs the feedback survey included a set of questions with likert scale ratings 1 to 5 with 1 being the poor and 5 being the excellent the information related questions were also given for analysis the response from each user is recorded for the further studies. Similar studies including the role of virtual labs in autonomous learning, learning process and the effective diffusion of virtual labs in enhancing the university education were also carried by us previously. In this study, a microbiology based case study was also included. This is to analyze the effect of virtual labs on enhancing user perception and learning ability. The protocol followed includes a survey based analysis and assessment of students theoretical and practical information on laboratory content. A total of 100 students who were not previously introduced with concepts of microbiology laboratory practices were selected for this study. As a prior step, this 100 students were subjected for a questionnaire based pre-test having 10 uh, questions regarding the basics of gram staining. They were then allowed to perform the gram stain experiment virtually uh, to familiarize the basic laboratory concepts. After the virtual lab exercise, a post-test was conducted with the same set of questions as in the pre-test. The performance level of students in each test was noted for further analysis. We also conduct, conducted workshops for k students with a live interactive video to analyze their adaptability in using virtual labs and to study whether motivation could yield interaction and their increased curiosity of learning science. Each workshop was followed by post-event interactions that helps the users to clear all their doubts regarding the virtual lab usage and their implementation in curriculum. The feedback was used to determine the easy adaptation to usage of virtual labs by students in their learning process. About 45 to 50 percentage of the participants uh, rated virtual labs as an excellent learning platform which complements le their laboratory education. User responses indicates that virtual labs are easily adaptable to tools for students to improve their laboratory skills and thereby reduce common errors occurred by performing the experiment in the wet labs. Student users rated the information related questions with more scores than the usage related questions. The graphical representation of each question suggests that virtual labs are an easily readable material for enhancing students knowledge. For analyzing the role of uh, virtual labs in enhancing student performance in the classroom, the scores obtained by the participants in the pre-test and post-test is analyzed. The statistics showed that about 80% of the students scored 80 to 100% marks, uh, marks in the post-test. Most students perform better using virtual labs as an interactive test books compared to the traditional classroom learning. And the feedback shows improved performance in the post-test. The research suggests virtual lab material supports the student-centered learning to enhance their constructive thinking. As a whole, it is seen that the content-rich learning materials provided by the virtual laboratories helps the users to understand the concepts of the experiment. The survey conduct conducted among the students suggests virtual labs as a more effective learning material and usage ensured a better performance during evaluations. It can therefore be considered as a preparatory phase in improving the performance level of the users. Our study supported that virtual lab serves as an alternative solution for some of the problems related to the classroom laboratory environments. We can conclude that this virtual learning platform is a new generation learning tool that promotes the creative thinking and self-organization of the students of different age groups. Although these initial results suggest virtual labs to be effective, the study is being extended to understand the interaction of social, cognitive and social presences in a virtual scene and within traditional blended learning environments. With this, we are concluding our section. This project is supported by MHRD Government of India. We would like to thank Create Team at Amrita University for their contributions and support in developing this work. We also thank for the contributions of the members of Amrita School of Biotechnology. You can mail your queries and feedback to shyam at amrita.edu. Thank you.